Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah and welcome back to another episode of Reddit Am I the A-Hole Knit Edition. Now hopefully this week will not be quite as uh, dark as last week's was with the crochet edition, but we'll see. First off, today we're doing Pepsi Zero. I had to think for a second. We're doing Pepsi Zero in my new Halloween can, what are these called? Oh, it got taken off. Um, it looks like a can, tumbler, whatever you want to call it. And it's color changing. I don't know if you can see, but the little pumpkins, they're all pretty clear, like this one. So I think only the ones that are now solid are the color change. Oh, nope, that's just ice behind it. Are the color changing ones. I don't know. Well, because I really don't, I didn't notice a difference until I actually saw ice touch the ones that are solid now and saw that it started to go full, um, full orange. So yeah, Pepsi Zero. As always, I am doing these blind. I just pick a, a headline that I think is interesting. I am going to be from now on so that I know for sure that they are not ones that I have repeated. I've figured out how to do it in time frames, so like seven days, a month, so on and so forth. And since I do every other week with knit and crochet, if I do in the last seven days, I am guaranteed to not repeat since I won't have done knit or crochet 14, day, and 14 days ago, two weeks ago. So it's been two weeks since we've done a knit. And so now I'm going to pick where they're seven days or less. So those are going to be fresh, brand new. I have not looked back on that one to see if there was an update yet. I need to do that. I will do that and put it at the end of the video. So if you wanna know if there's an update or not, it will be at the end of today's video. But that being said, the opinions that I give are strictly my own. If you find the person to be an a-hole, please do not troll their page. That's not cool. I don't want to be associated with that. This is all supposed to be done in fun and just hilarious stories. However, obviously last week was a uh, very dark and twisted, but hopefully this week won't be like that. Hopefully it'll be something funny. Cross your fingers for something funny. So with that, let's go ahead and find our first story. All right, so knitting is going to be a little bit tougher. I tried the within the past week thing and it literally showed up nothing for knit. So I do think I have found, I, I, I just let it be for all time and hopefully we'll find something new. Um, I do have one that's actually, am I the devil? And it's from two months ago and it says, ask for a hard knitted blanket, but, and let's see, there's no story here. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. This is in case this story gets deleted or removed, they put it in a comment, I guess. So it says, am I the a-hole? I asked my sister to make me a hand knitted blanket and it's ugly. Okay, so that's not quite the hard knitted. I don't know. I don't know if it's the same person or not. Hmm, should we go on with this story or should we go to something else? Well, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and go with it. I'm not sure if the person that originally posted the asked for a heart, oh, asked for a hand knitted blanket. So it is the same person. Alrighty, I can read. I just saw N as R, don't ask, don't ask. Moving on. So here it is. Am I the a-hole? I asked my sister to make me a hand knitted blanket and it's ugly, explanation point. About a month ago, oh, oh, and reminder, this was posted two months ago. So approximately three months ago, I asked my sister to make me a hand knitted blanket. I always wanted one just to have to go in the back of the sofa, on the back of the sofa or on my bed. So she said she'd love to make one. So after a while, the blanket was complete. Her and the elderly lady she works for made this blanket and the colors were going to be a surprise to me. I literally had showed my sister a picture on the internet of colors that I wanted to see in the blanket. So the day finally comes where I get to open the box, bleh, where I get to open the box that she had wrapped and had wrapped and it was supposed to be a surprise. So I opened it and my first reaction was I loved it. It was super soft and it was extremely heavy because the blanket is 10 foot 7 inches long by 5 feet wide. 10 
feet, almost 10 feet, 10 and a half feet long. Wow. But it's extremely ugly. It's got a dark hunter green fabric and yellow, yellow, red, white, and green threads. She told me that little old lady picked out the colors from Hobby Lobby, which my sister knows I effing hate when she supports those homophobic companies. Okay. After seeing how big the blanket was, I told her I could probably sell it for $250. It's so huge, I didn't know what to do with it. So she said, yeah, go ahead and sell it if you want. So I posted it on Facebook Marketplace. For two weeks, not a single person mes messaged me to buy this blanket. I marked it down to 100 for one week. Not a single person messaged me to buy this blanket. It is ugly, and I'm not exaggerating. I will attach a picture in the comment section below. So I told my sister the other day not a single person has messaged me to buy this blanket off of Facebook so I was going to package it up and mail it off to my cousin. My sister suggested that I should just throw it away and said what are you and I said what are you crazy? And because my cousin lives in Louisiana, she went off and said, well, she literally, well, she literally lives in the hottest effing place. Why would she need a blanket? And I said, did you not see the comment she posted on Facebook when I posted the blanket? And she said, well, I'm glad you have one made for you. And since I'm not going to use it, I thought I would just pass it along to somebody who would use it. So, am I the a-hole? Um... Well, I'm trying to see if there is the picture, but I don't see a picture. So I'm assuming it got deleted with the original post. I don't know. Um, well, I'll be honest. This is kind of a tough situation because are you, eh, are you not? Eh. Honestly, I don't know. Let, let's definitely see what Reddit has to say. Uh, someone said, I saw the pic and loved the colors, honestly. Even if it was poop brown, he should be grateful his sister took the time to make this for him. Only, uh, only point I see valid is supporting Hobby Lobby knowing their views. Otherwise, you say thank you when someone spends money and time making you something. Now, it's funny, they did like it before they knew that it was from Hobby Lobby. So, but I mean, their opinion about Hobby Lobby is their opinion. And I don't know, they, if they didn't know, it wouldn't have mattered, I guess. Um, someone else said, I was expecting poop brown. I was expecting a random mess. Obvious areas of mistakes. I expected it to look like something I'd make. <laughs> it looks fine. It certainly does not deserve the poop emoji or the vomit emoji op OP has issues. Okay. Um, no one's really saying whether or not this person is the a-hole or not. And I don't see a picture, so I don't have the ability to see what it looked like. Someone said, I thought it was kind of ugly, but appearance is not that important to me when it comes to warm, soft blankets. And OP is a massive jerk. So obviously this person thinks that they are the a-hole. If someone makes something for you, you keep it. You don't sell it unless you're planning to give the money to the artist to partially compensate for the money and time spent creating the thing. Right. Okay. So you know what? That is definitely, that's definitely true. You don't, you don't just throw something away or sell it because, you know, they made it for you. Although eventually I guess you can give it away. I don't know. That's a hard one. Someone said I love the green but hated the other colors. But honestly, that's probably just me because if I'm using a solid, I'm going to use another solid color. I typically don't mix them, but that's my personal preference. When, I, when I'm when i using a multicolor yarn, I wouldn't use something like that. I like su uh, subtle changes. Okay, so I mean, that's just their, people are agreeing they don't like it that much. In, in my opinion, Blanket has one sole job, to keep me warm. Am I warm? Then it's perfect. That is a perfect comment, because that's true. Um, someone else, gen generally think it's ugly as sin. That mixed color yarn is something else, but it's a effing blanket. It's soft and warm and made with love. I'd probably keep it folded in a chest and break it out for the real cold or when I needed to think of the person who made it. I'm... I'm, I don't know, uh, I have a hard time keeping my face straight sometimes and the sight of that might would, might would have caught me off guard, but I cannot imagine being such an a-hole about a huge labor of love. It is funny to me that everyone in that thread is going on and on about how nice the colors are, and perhaps they do feel that, that way, but I sure don't. But a bad color scheme doesn't negate 
the thought or the work or the love. So everybody's agreeing that even though they find it ugly, I wish I could see the picture because I can't, but um, even though they find it ugly, they think that the person is being an a-hole for wanting to give it away um, or sell it. And yes, it was a labor of love. Um, other than that, I don't know. Yeah, we find Reddit and I find the, the a-hole. So there we go. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next one. We've wasted enough time for that one. All right, so this one was from a year ago, and the tagline or title is, Am I the a-hole for only crocheting and knitting clothes for my youngest? And Reddit has dubbed thee the a-hole. That's what that red is. So Reddit's dubbed thee the a-hole. But let's go ahead and read what it says. And this one's a little bit longer, so this might be the last one. I don't know. We'll see. I, 42 female, gave birth to my youngest child in the summer. I have six kids in total, but my eldest is technically my stepson. I'm only clarifying because the four-year four year age gap between my husband and I would look very strange if I didn't. Okay, that makes no sense to me, but whatever. My kids are Riley, 24 male. Oh. Okay, maybe. Amanda and Adam, 16 female and male twins. I'm a Jean, 10 female, Aiden, 8 male, and Hannah, 6 months female. After having my youngest, I decided to quit my job to take care of her. Thankfully, she's a very peaceful baby, so I found a lot of spare time, and I decided to learn to crochet and knit. Okay. I started off with small items like coasters, socks, and small table mats, but I've decided to progress on to clothing. This is where the issue arose because I only made things for my youngest. This was because as she's a baby, she's very small and I can make items for her much quicker than for the others and I'm quite impatient so uh, I like to finish things quickly. Another reason was that because I'm still learning, I'm making mistakes and the garments aren't coming out perfect and a baby would obviously not mind or notice that. However, my, my older children are getting annoyed that I'm not making anything for them. I tried to explain my reasoning and I promised that I'd start making things for them when I get better at knitting and crocheting but they think that I should make other things instead of only making things for Hannah. It's mainly Imogene and Amanda being annoyed about this. My sons don't seem to care. Well, they probably wouldn't. I spoke to my husband, 46 male, about it, and he said that he understands where I'm coming from because it seems logical to practice on garments for a baby who doesn't care about how they turn out, but I should understand the older kids may be feeling left out whenever they see Hannah in new handmade sweater or hat. I still don't think I'm wrong because I don't understand why they'd be feeling left out. I'd understand if I only made things for Imogene and not Amanda or vice versa because they're both old enough to receive a gift, but Hannah is literally six months. She couldn't care less. My eldest, Riley, thinks that I am I am wrong and this about this, and if I give something to one of the kids, I have to give it to all of them. Okay, now I agree with Riley on that one. And, okay, so don't make them clothes. Make them a blanket, something super simple. You know, make a headband, uh, make scrunchies, make a scarf, something that's really simple and basic and isn't going to be too time consuming. A blanket would be a little bit time consuming, but you could still make small items for your older kids. Beanies, hats, they're not that much bigger than a baby's hat. Trust me. Now I granted sweaters definitely are a lot bigger and a lot more detailed and you have to get the, the math right and all of that. So, um, I agree with the eldest Riley. If you make one, something for one, you need to make something for them all. And so in that essence, I agree with Reddit. You are the a-hole. Let me see what Reddit has to say. Alrighty. So the first one says, yes, the a-hole. It's more than clothing. It's your time, attention, and love. Exactly. Exactly. A simple scarf or beanie is relatively easy if you're making clothing. 
I already said that. And they don't, and they do not expect perfection. Prob yeah, that's true. Uh, you're not horrible by any means, but I think you're viewing their requests wrong. As a mom, it's an honor when my kids ask me to make them something. That's rad as hell that they want to rock your stuff. Take it as a compliment. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, let's see. Here's another one. Yes, the a-hole. New baby in the house. All kids feel a little left out due to change. The girls care about the time you are putting into these things. It is it is time they feel they are being left out of. They feel like when you're making the baby's clothes, that time in their teenage mind and emotions equates to attention and love. They do not care about mistakes. They feel left out because you are not only spending more time with the new baby because it's a baby, you have to, and you have to, you are also spending more time on the baby's clothes. Take the girls to pick out a color of yarn and make them each a hat. Hats are small and easy to make because it's really basic. You could also use one of the lacy type stitches like a granny square uh, type to complete them faster. Exactly. I say yes the a-hole because girls are telling you they are hurt and you cannot see why because all you are worried about is doing something perfectly. They don't care about mistakes. 90% of humans would never notice a flaw or mistake in a handmade knitted or crocheted item. So stop thinking in those perfection mistake terms. It's not healthy. Agree. Agree. I agree. Oh, someone said hats, scarves, leg warmers, coasters, trivets, and the like are all easier than baby clothes in my opinion. I crochet and are, and are easy gifts for the older kids to show you're thinking about them. They're the ones who are going to appreciate the gifts immediately in the moment compared to a baby. Not saying you shouldn't make stuff for the baby, but that the baby shouldn't be your only one you're making stuff for when you have other kids. Not only that, making stuff for the kids can be a way to bond. Like you said, that, uh, or like the other posters, uh, commenter said, let them pick out the yarn type and colors. Let them pick out the main stitch. It'll force you to practice if you really want to progress in your hobby. Hell, make the, maybe they might even be open to being taught. And then they can crochet and knit right alongside. Knitting circles are things for a reason. So, yes, everybody agrees that they are the a-hole. So we agree they are the a-hole. Because, yeah, it's not fair to the other five kids that would have more understanding. The, the, exactly, the baby doesn't understand, doesn't care, doesn't even recognize what's being done, but the other kids are, and you're using your time and energy just on the baby, and that's that's not cool. So I also dub the, the a-hole. All right, let's see. Maybe I can find one more. All right, so all the other stories were very similar to what we already did today. So we are moving on to the something cute, and this is definitely cute. I, cherries are some of my favorite decorations on stuff. I love seeing them, especially in like uh, 50s and 40s pinup dresses. I love cherries. But anyways, these are some cute, adorable knitted cherries, and I will also post the, um, the person that created them. They are just adorable and I love them. They are too cute. I could see these if you add a little string to the top of the leaves, you know, a little, little chain, uh, whatever, something to hang them on your, um, rear view mirror. So I could see them being for a rear view mirror. That is so cute. Or even making them like an ornament. They are adorable. So I will, also link the pattern in the description box below because there is one provided in the comments. But those are adorable. I love them. Love them! Alright, I'm off to see if there's any update on last week's scary situation that we had. I will link last week's video also in the description box below if you have not seen it because it got pretty intense. So go check out last week's video for crochet uh, reddit am I the a-hole and then come back and finish or not because <laughs> if there's no update then there's nothing really for you to come back to. But anyways I'm gonna see if there's an update and I'll be right back. 
Alrighty, well, unfortunately, there are no updates. This person, that's literally the, all they posted was the, their, that story. My goodness. And they posted it three times. One under advice, one under stalking, and one under the MIDA hole. And yeah, um, they have not posted anything since that I can see. Um, and yeah, so they commented on some of the other ones, but it, all from 14 days ago. So we have no update. That's still pretty scary. Hopefully, hopefully they will get the help that they needed. Um, but yeah, no new posts. So no information, no update. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to continue alternating between crochet and knit because knit is not adding to the am I the a-hole section as much as I would love to. Uh, I will keep trying, but it may just be both together instead of one every other. So we'll see. We'll see. It may just be am I the a-hole fiber art edition and we'll go from there. <laughs> So with that, if you did like today's video, I would love it if you would hit the um, like button. Yeah, hit that like button and leave me a comment. If you would like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click all on the notification bell. And uh, yeah, with that, remember, gravity works, guys. Uh, at least it was a tamer episode today.